got this new Midland radio and I got it installed last week and I wanted to come out and just kind of do a quick little overview of my install. So I got this mount here from Jeep Unique and you can select this mount and this mount to whatever CB handheld radios, walkies, whatever you have. So I did the um, rugged handhelds that we have and my old uh, CB, tore the CB out. Luckily, the back of this radio fits right down here. Still works just great. So this radio, I really like because all the controls are right here. I have it hardwired in here. Um, my CB used to sit uh, right down here. As you can see some of the dirt and stuff still. And I had a power wire leading there and I pulled it all out and then realized I probably should have used it again, but I literally never use this power source for anything. So I don't mind it being there right now. But uh, so with this, you know, you just hold the power button. Got some static already. But you turn on, you have your volume here, channels on top, menu, lock, you know, standard, standard options. Ah, that's awful. Uh, nothing too crazy. Um, so this has a Cat5 end, which a lot of you might know from uh, Ethernet cables that you use to plug into your, you know, home internet and whatnot. So I bought this coupling on Amazon. It is a female Cat5 on both sides. As you can see, this is your standard uh, RJ45 um, Cat5, Cat6 end. So I can, when I'm not using this, I can take that off comes with this dust cap, screw that on, keep the inside of this nice and clean. And then um, I pulled the center console apart and I got all this junk in here. But basically um, I mounted the unit in here. I have the cat five and the power wires that cut down through here. I drilled a hole, took the rubber mat out, drilled a hole straight down. Um, I had to loosen the whole center console up and pull the cup holder cover off. But uh, it was really easy. Once you pull this cover off, you have a screw um, here on both sides. And then down here in the back, straight down from here, you just gotta slide the seats forward and they're visible. You take those four screws out and this whole section um, comes real loose. So I was able to fish the wires down in there. So instead of having the clunky old CB, took up leg room, took up uh, my wife's purse room. Now I just got this cord up to here that I can unplug. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Um, Christina over at Evolution Jeep Alliance, she came over at the um, Women Supporting Women show at Chicotique KOA that we did over the weekend and she helped me test it and everything worked good. Uh, the antenna right now, I actually have it fished down through here, um, goes through the glove box and sitting out here on my hood. It's just a little magnetic mount. Uh, I'm not nuts about it, but I'll get the cord and get the windshield mount for a new antenna, you know, here shortly. Um, another couple little things I wanted to show you is I got this uh, pro clip mount. I had the single one for my phone over here, but I recently got an iPad. I want to be able to use the Maprica maps and everything. So this is their heavy duty mount. And then I have an iPad mount that I can just screw on here. Um, it's fantastic when, uh, you know, like you're sitting around uh, like the uh, Ocean City Jeep Week, we were down there. Sometimes the lines get a little long when you're going through the course, just download a movie on Netflix. Haters are gonna hate, but I think it's kind of fun. Um, we also, me and John, uh, we've had po posted pictures, but I got this brake controller that we wired in. I actually bought a pop-up camper. So now when we go to Roush or AOAA, we can just go and stay in a camper for the weekend. And I uh, got that hooked up, you know, and got this all wired down under there. So we haven't been posted much about upgrades and installs, but we've been doing a couple things. So, uh, you know, thanks for following us, commenting, you know, interacting with us. I uh, hope to see you all soon. Have a good one.